All right, bring in David Bonson, managing partner and founder of the Bonson Group. David, you heard Trump, business roundtable, cut taxes, stop over-regulation. Just shows two points, okay? I say that's Ronald Reagan. I say that's pro-growth. I say that's supply side. And I say that instills confidence. What do you say? I think you're exactly right. That message was Reaganite. Mm -hmm. That message was mature. It was supply side. It was thoughtful. And so sometimes his economic platform can be very emotional because there's emotional things he tapped into politically in 2016. And and when he sounds the way he did business roundtable, it makes a very old, antiquated supply side guy like me excited because it's focused and it's uh, free market. And look what he said about immigration. It's very interesting. Now, he wants us to close the border. I want to close the border. But he talked about if kids, visas with, uh, kids with visas go through college, they should be allowed to stay in the United States. Now, that's a big issue. Yeah. Cur- present law stops them from staying. They have, have to be term limited, and then they get pushed out. He also talked up H-1B visas for the technology side. In other words, positive reforms good for business, doesn't negate. I mean, he also talked about the border, closing the border and stopping crime and deporting. But there's another side to it, and I think the BRT CEOs really liked it. The language of close the border can be taken to mean something it doesn't mean. What guys like you and I mean is stop illegal immigration, Mm -hmm. people coming through uh, improperly, and let's do it the right way. When he's talking about work visas, the technology, the special needs we need, the, the more specialized labor in the workforce, having some of that met through immigration, that's an incredibly profound message that some people think is inconsistent with closing the border. It's not. It brings the whole message together. It's a winnable message. We always had the Trump administration, when I was in office, always had a positive legal immigration agenda of which Mr. Trump mentioned a few pieces at the business roundtable. It it never got anywhere. And so a lot of people assume there was none, but there isn't. He gave a taste of that. But I think, look, what is he saying down there? He's saying, I'm for growth. Yeah. You're for growth. He said the business fee. I'm for growth. I want to let you build. I want to give you your permits. I want to let you have the fossil fuel energy back. I'm going to keep your taxes down and I'm going to stop over regulation. I mean, that is a profoundly. Yes, it's pro business. It's pro worker. It's pro-investment. It's pro-stock market. But see, that's exactly right. It's pro-growth in the right way. When Biden says he wants to give people money to put a down payment on a home, right. that's not pro-growth. It just artificially stimulates more demand. Mm-hmm. When he's talking about not taxing tips for workers, it's pro-growth mm-hmm. of blue-collar, low-wage earners. And I think these are the things we're talking about. You need to stimulate more productive activity. I, I believe that it's a supply-side message. You could call it Reaganite, but it's being applied to the issues now. So, you know, I, I take a skeptical eye sometimes. Reagan and Trump, man, I did it both. It's unbelievable. David Bonson is the best.